Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire art journal collection and then at the end of this video I'm also going to be sharing with you some art journals that I am interested in or ones that you guys suggested on my kind of review of all of my different art journals that I will link down below. Alright, so starting off with my breakfast journal, I got this I think back in 2014 and it was my first art journal. These um, aren't in any specific order, but this one just happened to be first. So I really love this one with all of the prompts and it really got me um, into like doing this creative journaling type of thing. So some random things that I love about the breakfast journal are the rounded edges on it. Also, I think the paper quality is better than the majority of other art journals that I have shared. So if you guys are interested in a complete flip through, that will be linked down below. I think the prompts in this book are pretty straightforward, but also leave room for lots of extra creativity with them. And I know that my method or technique of completing my breakfast journal isn't up everyone's alley but this is the way that I like to kind of complete all my art journals in a very artistic creative way so that's why I um, didn't really destroy it per se but I kind of just took all of the prompts and then put my own spin on them so um, if you guys don't like that method then that's totally okay so yeah that is my breakfast journal. And next up is my create this book. This is the first one. This is written by Mariah Elizabeth and this guy definitely gets the award for being the fattest. Um, it is definitely exploding and there's like an entire section of the book that is no longer attached to the spine unfortunately so this ribbon is keeping it in place. One thing that I would like to note about this book is that the prompts are created with so much thought and creativity. I absolutely love it but I did have some issues with a lot of bleeding with like using markers on the page which is said in the beginning in the beginning of the book and going off of that that's probably the reason why the spine could not withhold all of the pages is because for the majority of them I used a separate piece of like white printer paper to glue on so I could use markers and paint and all of those different supplies and then glued them in so that just kind of like doubled the size of the book instead of just going right on the paper. So I actually have the entire journey of like making all of these pages and decorate decorating them and the final flip through all up on my channel if you guys are at all interested. So that is the create this book. And next up we have a new book. Well, there's actually two of them and they are called Bless This Mess 1 and 2. These are written by Kelly Gadsden. And this is such a unique spin off of like the standard art creative journal. So this one kind of combines Bible journaling and like art journaling together. So these prompts include some type of passage in um, the Bible and then you're also including some type, of, some type of art component to them. So I have only completed two pages in this so far, but I really like the creative and unique aspect that this book has. So I'm really excited to continue going. So these are the two pages that I have done so far and the quality of the paper is pretty standard to all the other ones. I would recommend like doubling up on printer paper if you're going to be using some um, markers or paint on it but for pencil crayon and pencil and stickers and stuff it's pretty good. So these are the two different books. They are like the same concept just different prompts in both of them so if you guys want to check these out these are actually just recently released so i would highly recommend checking these out and next up we have the anti-journal which i also completely did on my channel so i have flip through and also separate like little episodes completing all of the pages in it so it's definitely one of the smaller completed journals and um, I kind of like was drawn to this one because the, some of the prompts were like very straightforward. Um, so I did lots of those first and uh, you'll see through like this little mini flip through over here. But for example, some of them are just like color this dice with your favorite colors, your least favorite colors. So like a lot more simple type of prompts. 
Um, and then I also enjoyed how some of the pages included two different prompts on them, which was different to lots of other art journals. So that was something that I hadn't seen before and I liked that combination. So I could do like one prompt and it didn't have to like be all out for the entire page. And then if I didn't like it, then that's okay. It was only taking up half a page. So I do want to note, however, that the pages are in this journal are pretty thin and also rough so I would definitely not be using my like Tombow markers in here just because they could really fray the ends and that wasn't the case for any of the other journals so just be aware if you get this one that I would not want to use my best markers in it but this is the little flip through of it. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite but it's definitely a good art journal if you're looking for something a little bit different. And next up we have This Is Not A Book. So I did this one right after finishing Wreck This Journal because I was kind of on a Carrie Smith hype um, after completing that first one so I was really excited to try some more of her books and this is the one I chose. So first off, I have a flip through of it on my channel. It was actually the first video I ever posted. So if you guys want to go check that one out and some other things that I want to mention about it are a it is a very difficult book prompt wise. So the prompts, at least coming from Wreck This Journal, were took a lot more thought and effort to kind of think of something creative because a lot of these things aren't really meant for art journaling at least that's kind of the vibe I was sensing from it so maybe that's not what you think but it definitely took more thought to make like it look cool once it was finished but overall flipping through this I hadn't looked at it in like probably two or three years and like there's some pretty cool stuff in here so I would recommend this if you really want to stretch your creativity and kind of go a little bit deeper in like creating some unique um, takes on different prompts. And the second thing that I want to mention about it is that I'd say the quality is pretty comparable to the Wreck This Journal and possibly other Carrie Smith books, I'm not completely sure. But I do like the Wreck This Journal pages better because of the rounded edges. That's just like a little extra touch that makes it so much like more special to me. So yeah, that is This Is Not A Book. Next up is Create This Book 2, also by Mariah Elizabeth. So I have recently started this one. I have done like maybe six, eight prompts in here. So I have a long ways to go, which is why the cover is not decorated and most of the pages are blank. But I'd say this one is pretty similar to her first book. The prompts are excellent in here and the paper is also the same. So if you want to be using um, like markers or paints, you have to use a separate piece of paper in there if you don't want any bleeding through it. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm also going to be sharing with you some art journals that I'm interested in. Lots of these you guys shared with me on my comparing all my art journals videos. So you guys can go check out that video over there if you like. So I have no clue how these are, but I am always interested in finding a new art journal to test out. Many of these are by authors that I have um, never used their books before, but a couple of them are by Carrie Smith and obviously Wreck This Journal and This Is Not A Book are both written by Carrie Smith. So I am familiar with those books, but I am always curious to see what her other ones are like. So here are all of them. I'm sure there's many more so you guys can share them in the comments. I would love to know and that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.